Aaron, um, in the sixth inning, the, the Bogarts uh, fly ball to left field. What'd you make of and Duhar obviously is inexperienced out there, but right. his his route to it and, and the result. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen a replay of it yet. Um, you know, when I first saw it, I was just kind of tracking the ball and you know hoping it wasn't getting out of the ballpark. And then I I didn't see how close he got to the fence, so I haven't even seen you know a replay of it. You know, to to make a real good judgment on it for you. I feel like the the two at bats that you know would be thought about afterwards: Devers against Tyone in mm -hmm. the sixth and then Hernandez against Green. When you think back to, to those at-bats and then the pitches they got beat on, what stands out to you? Um, <clears throat> J-Mo got back in the count and, and obviously, you know, pitching pitching a little carefully there and want to just go four-seam up at the top of the zone or even above the zone and see if he'll, we can get him to expand there. It looked like he pulled the ball a little bit and, and got it more down and, and on the inner half for the base hit. And then, you know, Hernandez did a good job of probably selling out high heater um, and got to it. You know, I thought Greeny struggled a little bit with the, you know, with the feel of his breaking ball. And I think, you know, Hernandez – you know, after getting blown away a little bit by it, I think just with two strikes there, completely sold out and, you know, got on one about letter high and, and you know, put a good swing on it. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Aaron, as these losses pile up, uh, how much do you, are you concerned about, you know, a snowball effect about guys getting dispirited? Uh, not worried about that. Um, you know, I know the guys in that room, and we believe we're too good. Um, know that we're obviously going through a tough stretch. Know that this is part of it, and you know, we're taking our lumps right now. We got a we got an opportunity to turn it around and, and at least salvage a series tomorrow, and that's what our focus and how we'll look at it is. Mark Can is oh, go ahead, Kenny. No, I said thank. I said thank you. Okay, Mark Canizaro, please unmute. Thanks, uh, Aaron. Can you speak a little bit about uh, about Stanton and his struggle since he's gotten back from the uh, uh, fr from the injured list? And I mean, obviously he's streaky anyway, but it seems like he's been really struggling. Yeah, just you know, struggling to get kind of locked in up there. I thought last night he had some good at bats, hit a ball hard to third, got the base hit that he smoked to left, and worked the walk. Um, but you know, he's he's kind of searching to to find it, and hopefully as he gets more consistent uh, reps here, he'll lock it in. Just as a, as a quick follow, I mean, it seems like statistically as he goes, you're, it, it, it ignites your offense a little bit, you know, numbers-wise. Obviously, you're aware of that with the numbers there. Is, you know, what can that do if he, if he can kind of get himself right, you know, and get your maybe – what does that do to your offense? Well, I mean, he's, you know, he's an impact hitter. I mean, no, no two ways about it. So when he's going and obviously, you know, brings an on-base element, obviously tremendous power, you know, that's – you know, he's a run producer there. So we, we know that, you know, if we get him going, um, you know, that's that's a big cog in this lineup. Go next to Brendan Cuddy. Aaron, it's not often that you guys are booed uh, at your home field as you guys leave. But what would you say to fans who may be getting a little impatient or concerned as you're talking about turning the page and this team doesn't seem to be turning around? Um, well, they care. I mean, that's, that's, you know, one of the things you love about playing here and loving our fan base is how much they care and are invested and, and want it. So, I mean, I wouldn't say anything other than that's, that's a result of a fan base that it matters to. And there's, you know, a group of guys in there that it really matters to, but we have a job to do of going to perform um, so it's important that we continue to grind this thing out. We know there's going to be lumps along the way, but we also know we have a club capable of digging our way out. Zach Brazilla, please unmute. Aaron, uh, you guys are 14 and 21 against uh, the AL East. How, how much of a problem is that? You know, when you look at that's a pretty large sample of games. Yeah, it's not good. And if we're going to be the club where we expect to be, we need to improve that and, and turn that around.